Okay, hello everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube tutorial. So today we are going to talk about optimization step by step to optimizing your reading needs. So for this, I actually uh, get my resources and inspiration from Annie Kong. So I will I will put a link to her GitHub here, and which I find that it's very useful for me to do a tutorial intro that might interest you guys. Okay. So for all of these reading lists, um, what's the context in that? For example, that you just finished your school, then you wanted to start reading books during the holiday. So, so but uh, so you want to read as much as possible. They give you as much values as possible. However, that you have your limitation. Your limitation is time. You want to spend. You still want to spend your time not one hundred percent reading books but also to spend your time on going out with friends and whatsoever so you only allocate a certain budget for reading the books okay and so you rely on the good reads ratings to decide what you should read so moving on just so that we can understand it better let's try to formulate it so the first decision for words is that imagine that you have a list of books so you will have a uh, decision you will need to decide that book A or book B which one I should read and then go through under book C and then you will, you will need to decide which one to read and which one you don't read so XI is actually representing that so again just like the marriage problem it will be a binary problem 0 and 1 1 for reading and 0 for not reading it Because so basically X book A 1 or 0 if it's 1 then you read book A and then you will have x book b so one or zero if it's one then you read book b and you keep going on there with book c okay so that's what it means by the decision variables and again in the objective functions well we want to maximize our values and how we will maximize our values is through the ratings so it's a sum of xi times ri so if the book a we read you want to see the rating of book a and then we want to add on with the rating of book C, book D, book E, as long as we read it. So the nice way to put it, because 0 times the value is always 0, is to always to use the binary. So 1 times the value is the value, 0 times the value is 0, because I don't read it, so I don't um, get the value of readings of reading it. Okay, that's how you read it. <laughs> that's a pun. Um, but... Um, then the next thing we need to identify the constraints. So all the time below specified time. Okay. So for here, let's say I want like one hour a day or one day kind of time, and uh, which I haven't decided here, but we'll decide in the later. So in the constraints is that for all i and j, so it has to be. Sorry, there's no j. So uh, let me let me remove this j. And then j is here okay so it just xi okay but anyway let's move on to the excel sheet so how do i implement our excel well very simple puts this is a little bit of data that we scrape so imagine that we have several books book 0 book 1 book 2 book 3 book 4 okay then we get the ratings and then we get the pages uh, you know what? Uh, maybe I can do access. Uh, I can do the pattern of book first. So forgive me for that. So this is the pattern of book that I use in order to scrape it and also to formulate the pop using Python to formulate the optimization. So this is the kind of data that I have. So I have yeah, this is all. So I have position. In position one and two is just counting ID name, and then I have the book name. I have the good rate score auto. Rating, URL, my columns and source, and I have another ratings and pages. So for to make a, the decisions, I would like to focus on the book name. So which books that we read, okay? But at the same time, I want to focus on the ratings. So based on ratings, I want to find the total ratings. And how long does it take for me to read this book? Is that rely on pages? So well, pretty much right. If I want to find it. A good book to read then I just do rating 
uh, give you the most ratings within the these pages because I can say that well definitely fulfills my time okay so just a little bit uh, understanding of the data which I tried to uh, uh, clean up a little bit and then do a little bit of rate rating histogram so basically what you see here is that most of the books have ratings around the middle of 3.8 to 4 okay uh, looks like a little bit like middle figure but uh, yeah don't think about it but sometimes graphics can be funny okay and then for the TF clean then um, this is for the pages uh, most of the books are around like 400 pages so this is how we read this so after that uh, if you see here I list them down and then create uh, put it down into an Excel so there you go this is the Excel that is generated by the Python okay so let's just use Excel first and then after that we'll see Python implementation so just moving on so you have ratings and pages ratings pages so basically what you want to see uh, let's say that I want the pages is 15600. Will I get this 15600? Well, maybe I can get it from like the time that I want to spend. For example, I want to spend one hour. And I also know that my reading speed is like uh, three pages in a minute or something like that. So by the end of the day, I get 15600. But you can put it anytime you want. And you can put in whether you want to decide one or zero. And then you can put in the total pages read, which is basically just the sum product. So sum product of the pages, comma, and the decision. Okay, so, okay. Right, so let me go click here. So and the decision. So it will give me zero. I can do the same thing with uh, some of the ratings. So sum product of the rating. Okay, comma the decision. So what it gives me, let's say if I decide to read uh, the first book, so I give decision one here. So it will give me five hundred thirty pages as my total pages to read, and ratings in terms of the four twenty nine. And if I choose another, like for example three point eighty six, example one here, I put it, then I will have total pages ratings of 0.29 plus 3.86 as simple as that then I can do the same thing with the others until to the point that it exceeds my boundaries and I couldn't read any more books but what I want to maximize is the total value of ratings so I max utilize my time well okay given the list of the books so let's try and do a solver on this so again the set objective will be the uh, total failure of ratings. So we want to change the failure cells. So what is the failure cells? It is basically all of this. Okay. So D two until D eighty three, and subject to what? Subject to uh yeah. Let's delete this for example. So first of all, is that this has to be less equals to this that we have already specified. Okay. Then we need to add on that the decision variable, which is to this one, it has to be an integer and okay. And there you go, that's simple. And of course, it needs to be less equals to one because you don't want to read our books twice or three times, it doesn't happen that way. So you assume that, well, for it to make sense, one book, one time reading, so zero and one will sufficient. Okay, so you need to add on again equals to less equals to one because it's zero or one, and it will be less equals to one and then more uh, non-negative. It's only zero and one, so it's binary. Okay, so click on here and then make on constraint covers to negative and simply press LP and just solve it. It will take a little bit of time because it goes through a little bit of these of possible ways. But in the end, that it finds an integer solution. So notice again that there's no sensitivity reports. So this is common for the integer uh, problems. So there you go. In other words, I uh, 
I have 15590 total pages to read and I have total value of ratings. There's actually another trick that you can do which is doing the ratings divided by pages. So you do this, like this, okay, so keep doing it, uh, just double click on that to populate it and then basically you can just sort it out. So how you sort it out is that you can click by sorting here and then you sorting by E, column E, which is the ratio and from largest to smallest, okay. So if you sort it out here, well, the first thing that you see is that the decisions are most likely ones, except by the end of the day, then the decision becomes like zero. So this is a very nice eyeballing way to solve the knapsack problem because like, you can start with those that have the highest rating but the least pages first, the small books with the highest ratings. And afterwards, you can like keep going on and piling out to the like slightly larger books and also um, slightly lower kind of ratings. So that's how you do it, okay? Uh, if you want to non-LP problems way. But if you want to do LP ways, then do that. But if it takes too much time, then this is another walk around that you can go with. Just do a ratio of rating divided by pages. Okay? So with that, I would like to put an end to this um, solving the knapsack problem using Excel. The next one I'm going to show to you about the Python way of doing things and why we should do Python over Excel. With that, thank you so much and see you again in the next uh, in the next tutorial. Bye bye.